you guys welcome to your soulmate reading for uh pisces this is going to be for your june 2024 uh you can apply this to your sun moon rising venus sign so we are to see, we are going to take a look and see how your soulmate journey is going with your soulmate um and then uh, we'll finish off the read to see what else you guys need to know look out for work on apply this to your own unique situations uh keep in mind that these are general messages take what resonates and leave the rest behind you may switch the roles if you want keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective uh pisces people not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular uh, if you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies i suggest you to uh book a personal reading with me the link for that is in the description description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok, Instagram, my other YouTube channel that's dedicated solely to my travels, the links for those are in the description box below. Support me on there too. So, tell me about Pisces. What's going on with Pisces? And uh, how is their, uh, how is Pisces' soulmate journey going with uh, their soulmate here for Pisces? How is Pisces' soulmate journey going with their soulmate for June 2024? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Pisces. We have the Hierophant and the Ten of Swords. The Hierophant, Ten of Swords here, okay. Five of Pentacles and Judgment Sagittarius energy. Seems like you made some big changes here. Changes where I feel like you're not going back on the decision that you made, okay. I, you, know, you could be finding closure here. You guys could be focusing on your healing at this time, connecting with the higher power. You know, releasing this pain and hurt that you dealt with somebody with somebody here with the Queen of Cups and the King of Pentacles here. Interesting. Could be a situation complete opposites are attracting here. I feel like since you've done all this work to heal from some sort of past situation here, moving towards the future, there could be someone new that's coming into your life. You know, that is marriage material, commitment material here, okay? The uh, King of Pentacles here. Why is the King of Pentacles? Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Judgment, Sagittarius, Energy, and Hierophant, Taurus, Energy. The King of Pentacles here and the Queen of Wands. Aries, Little Sagittarius, Energy. Interesting. Queen of Cups and the Moon. I mean, this could also be indication that you feel betrayed because your person went towards somebody else here. And you could be in this energy of fearing that you're losing this person or that you have done the work to overcome that fear, okay? Uh, so I feel like, you know, there is some sort of acceptance or some something about finding closure here for you guys. The judgment card. <clears throat> the lovers, wow. <coughs> Five of pentacles and the high priestess, Cancer Pisces. The Lovers, Gemini Energy, Ten of Swords, and the Five of Cups, the Hierophant, and the Devil. Wow. You were dealing with the false soulmate here. From sol false soulmate to true soulmates here, basically. So I feel like you were dealing with a false soulmate at one point. And now I feel like a true soulmate is coming in for you guys. Because I feel like you, you guys have done some work, some healing work. Surrounding some sort of past toxic situation that you dealt, dealt with here. Okay? So I do believe that there is a soulmate coming in for you. Or that your guides and your angels and your ancestors are letting you know. Or that you're receiving messages from your guides and your angels and your ancestors. Or that you're feeling this kind of like this tingling and just sensation that someone is coming in for you. Okay? What else do we have for, for Pisces? What else does Pisces need to know? Look out for work on for June 2024 when it comes to their soulmate journey here for Pisces. For Pisces. We have the Hermit, Virgo energy, and the Three of Swords. The Hermit, Virgo energy, the Three of Swords here. Right. We have the Nine of Wands and the Ten of Cups. The Nine of Wands and the Ten of Cups here. 
and the Six of Cups here, and the Ace of Swords. Not the Ace of Swords, the Ace of Cups. There is, yeah, I do feel like after all the work that you've done, after all the pain and all the hurt that you've released here, there is a soulmate. Yeah, there is someone new coming in for you, okay? You could be meeting this person at a work situation here, at a wedding, at a party, at some sort of summer event here, okay? Some of the Ace of Cups. Why is the Ace of Cups here? The Ace of Cups and the Sun. Wow. Pisces, this person's going to make you very, 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 very happy here. Yeah, this person's going to make you very happy. You're going to have some sort of past life soulmate connection with this individual where, you know, you guys are going to meet each other. You guys are going to hit it off. You know, you guys are picking up things where you guys left off here from the past life. This person's going to feel very familiar to you. You might have even seen this person in your dreams or something like that. Okay? So, uh, Pisces, Seven of Cups and the Fool, Aries energy, the Sun, Leo energy. Tell me the Nine of Wands here. Why is the Nine of Wands here? The Nine of Wands and the Six of Swords. Yeah, seems like you're moving on from some sort of past painful situation that you dealt with. The Three of Swords here and the Queen of Swords. You've been through a lot. You really have. Uh, when it comes to this false soulmate that you dealt with here, you know? So, you know, I do feel like you're definitely moving towards the future. You're leaving the past behind and someone new is coming into your life here. The Hermit and the Five of Swords here. This is the energy of you putting yourself first or that you put yourself first for a very long time here. Basically, for, uh, you built a solid, uh, solid, loving relationship with yourself, a solid foundation with yourself before this soulmate comes in. I do feel like this person will be coming in pretty soon here. Let's see. I, I do feel like it's, a, you know, I do feel like this person will come in during the summertime here, Pisces. Yeah, this person's going to make you very, very, very happy here. We have the Death card, Scorpio Energy, and the Six of Pentacles, and the Page of Swords, and the Seven of Swords here. Yeah, regarding this past soulmate connection or this past false soulmate connection here, you're just not giving any more energy or any attention towards this individual. I mean, you might be still in communication with this person. I mean, some of you guys might even have had a child with this person here, okay? Um, so, you know, I do feel like you guys are definitely getting into a better place of, you know, kind of like getting into some, like a new, your new normal here with this past false soulmate that you're dealing with if you share a child with this person, okay? So, for, yeah, there's going to be stability. There's going to be happiness here. You know, there's going to be peace and like stability, basically. Uh, this person's going to feel very, 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 very safe here, Pisces, okay? Yeah, I do feel like whoever this is, I feel like this person does see a future with you. I do feel like this person does adore you here or that this person is going to love you really, really, really hard, okay? So, Pisces, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. All right, thanks, guys. Bye.